Welcome to the 5th edition of IAM Future Chef Goa 2017 where young chefs will try their hands on to impress our judges and stand a chance to win the title. With the quarter finals of the chart the top 20 have been selected to battle it out in the semi finals of IAM Future Chef Goa 2017. The stakes are high now as they all are few steps away from winning the lucrative prize money and being titled the champion. The last two episodes saw IM Future Chefs evaluate the top 200 selected participants across numerous schools from 800 testing sessions. There is a twist from here on. The further competition will be judged by the celebrity chef Sean, who is a well-known name around the culinary world. Also along with him will be five best industry names who will be introduced in the later part of the episode. That's not all. The event will be overlooked by Dr. Sivrano Bose. Chairman and CEO Indi Smart Group Worldwide and Maitreya Chaudhary, Group Director IM Institute of Hotel Management, who have flown all the way for the competition. For the last couple of editions, IM has given platform to all the budding students to pursue their dreams of making it big in the culinary world. IM is not just a hospitality institute, but a different world within the campus. Here, students get the best of the industry who become the future leaders. IM. Settled against the picturesque backdrop of a sprawling 22-acre over a hillock, IAM made a special presence in the western part of the country. IAM has its campus at the fully operational Indy Smart Woodburn Resort. Standing within a picturesque surrounding, its landscape garden and swimming pool offers fully furnished six luxury villas and 28 super deluxe rooms with laundry service and 24-hour room service. Students studying in Goa have complete access to real-life hotel operations. which adds to their educational qualification before the young chefs decide a career out in cooking they need someone to encourage their culinary skills and they have the chance to get a steamy start to this cooking career right here life at im is different that's what its students are out to do make a difference let's first take a look at the journey of im future chef goa so far hi i'm talking to you about the future chef goa which we are having the 5th edition now uh, the main purpose of this event or the future chef goa is to tap the young talent about uh, people who like to cook or very passionate about the kitchen department wherein they can come over here uh, how we start is uh, we send our faculties to the different colleges and uh, as our faculties are most ihm graduates so what we do is the faculties go and tap the young talents about thousands of students from thousands of students we get around uh, 200 to finalists for the five years that we've been having this competition the the response has been immense and increasing every year which has been giving us the boost to carry on with this particular event and uh, the children also have been looking forward to these events wherein even our students have been getting a lot of exposure uh by you know helping these people do, because they buddy up with the children who are uh, working and who are coming here for the event and uh, it has been very nice for these particular years and uh, the finalists which we have got uh, they have really put in a lot of work our students also put in a lot of work during this events which has been giving them a lot of exposure which they carry on when they go through the workplace or when they join the particular hotels Life at IM is completely different, and the students say it all about the institute and their time here. Um, hi, I'm Chirag Chauhan. I'm a final year student here at IAM. So, my relationship with IAM it dates back till 2015, where I was pursuing my 12th standard. They had approached my college for Goa Future Chef. Uh, it was a cooking competition. So there, I didn't participate in it, but it inspired me to join the field of hospitality, and. By the end of my 12th I applied here I uh, got my admission so during my 3 years of 3 uh, academic years there are a lot of things I learned I am here holds a variety of events such as Goa Future Chef and uh, a food festival that's an international food festival in which um, all the dignitaries they are invited the students here they manage the event and basically the event is all of, about the students and I've here done my industrial training at Taj Exotica Goa and now I'm placed at Marriott's Goa Marriott's so if anybody who wants to join hospitality or anyone who wants to seek a career in hospitality I suggest that IM is the place it's now time to announce the top 20 of the 5th edition of IM Future Chef Goa 2017 who have made it to the semi finals 
Antonio Felix Fernandez from Keshav Shruti High Secondary School, Vasco. Sheikh Abdul Hamid, Damodar High Secondary School, Gudi Paroda. Swarangi Kumari, Kendriya Vidyalaya Ponda. Shreya Akla, Kendriya Vidyalaya Ponda. Alfarmana Sayed, Maria Babina High Secondary School, Kukori. Shreya Kerkar, Kamakshi High Secondary School, Kurti. Aniksha Borkar, AVPMS High Secondary School, Shiroda. Neha Kumari, St. Alex High Secondary School, Kurtori. And from Basilio High Secondary School, Majorda, Nikita Kutino, Deepak Patil, Ujwala Ramesh Pawaskar, Priya Singh. Arbina Khan, Jawaharlal Nehru High Secondary School, Fatorda. Addison Rodriguez, Rosary High Secondary School, Naveli. Vedang Kamath, Rosary High Secondary School, Naveli. Ishika Kocha, Jawaharlal Nehru High Secondary School, Fatorda. Nazma Khan, United Kukuri High Secondary School, Kukuri. Kasta Parera, Deep Vihar High Secondary School, Vasco. And Komal Kumari from Kendriya Vidyalaya, Ponda. So you've all come from the whole of Goa today. 20 of the best class 11 and 12 young chefs in the state, which is such a great, a great thing to start off with, really. You're all winners in my eyes, always winners, I think. And I think you should give yourselves a little bit of a clap for that, if nothing else. <laughs> but the challenge is still on. You've reached this far, but if you want to get into that top 10, you're going to have to create some of the most delicious, tastiest food you've probably ever tried to create. I think that's by far the most important thing, particularly in this round. So I think you all know the, pretty much what you need to do. You're going to have 15 minutes to collect your ingredients, 60 minutes of cooking, and at the end, another 15 minutes to plate up and tidy down. You're going to have to cook us two plates of food, and you have a whole larder of food at your disposal. Okay? So, great competition ahead. Those top 10 winners are really gonna be the winners of this round. And there's gonna be no doubt by the end of it, let me assure you. When we start telling people, there's gonna, I know there's gonna be some sad faces later. There's always lots of people upset with me by the end of a competition. But that's the nature of the competition. I think for any chef, when we're tasting food, we're looking for perfect seasoning, the most important thing. Few grains of salt, few less, few more, can be a disaster to a plate of food. If you're gonna cook rice, make sure it's perfectly cooked, not overboiled, not crunchy. If you're gonna make a nice tower parapta, make sure it's nice and crispy. Make sure your sabzi's cooked, make sure your chicken's cooked through. I don't want to see any blood when I open the chicken, when I cut into it. So just a few very basic pointers which can win you the game. Whatever I'm telling you now is what can win you the game. Okay, so good luck to all of you. Happy smiling faces before we start. Let's cook.
So what what are you making? Basa. Basa? Eh? Basa fish fingers. Okay. And with the prawn, what are you going to do? For ganishi. Okay. So are you going to make some puri with the dough? Chapati. Chapati. What are you making? I'm making a mandore chicken suka with chapati for mangoes and for tacos. I'm making some pumpkin and some vegetables. Very good. Add a little more water in that, so it becomes a little liquid. <coughs> This water is drinkable, no? Put put that there, put that there, put that there. How far? How it is? Everything okay? Fine? Everything going great? Yeah. Yeah. Another half an hour to do everything. Okay. Do fast, huh? Very good. How far? Hmm. Nice, huh? Very good. Okay, your chicken is done. Yeah. Is done. Very good. What are you making? Uh, Pani chili. Pani Yeah. Okay. Pani chili Chinese style. Indian yeah. style. What are you making? Oh my God, that's a lot of food, huh? You're making a lot of food. Paneer pasanda, okay, as a starter, okay, and the main course is curry leaf chicken. Curry leaf chicken, okay. It looks looks good. Okay, so so what are you cooking for me? Last few, I think. Antonio. Ciao. Where, where are you from? I'm from Vasco. Vasco. From where Goa all started, really, isn't it? Vasco is where Goa started, really, isn't it? Vasco de Gama. Uh, okay, so, so what are you cooking for lunch? So, for lunch, I'm preparing a restaurant style chicken dum biryani. Restaurant style? What's the difference between restaurant style? Because uh, we grind the oil. Dry spicy. Okay. But in a, normally we directly cook. But in the restaurant, we are. And your and your starter? My starter, I'm making a toast bread pizza. You're making? Toast bread pizza. The delicacies are finally getting ready in the stipulated time. There will be extreme judging. Ila Goa and Sudip Sinha, executive chef Alaila Deva Goa. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking and good luck. All the best. Okay, so tell us what you made for us. The main course is Ariyali chicken and the cutlets, uh, Goan style prawns, masala. So I was thinking, like, there's much, much too much like dessert for for a main course. So I can't really judge you on that, really. It's not. It wasn't part of the conversation. I can only really judge you on one plate of food. Okay. Good luck. Antonio, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So if you can tell us what you made. So Antonio, what what did you make for us? I made this main course first. So 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 what is this? This is obviously your starter. So what is it? Toast bread pizza. 
Seasoning is quite good, which is usually a mistake by most people, I think. Good luck. So can you tell us what you made? For starters, I made a masala papad and for the main course, I did Mangalorean uh, chicken sukkah with chapatis. Chicken sukkah. Is that something local to look at? There's no seasoning. And I can tell there's no seasoning because it's not started to weep. If you add salt to something, it starts to become wet. Um, so no seasoning there. And very poor seasoning on the chicken. You don't like salt? Everybody in your family has something against salt, do they? Good luck. That is something huge. Yeah, it is, huh? <laughs> so, so explain to us what you made. As a starter, I made a Nargisi kofta. So this is your starter? In main course, I have made main rice with chicken gravy. I'm glad you cooked the lamb through. In these competitions in the past, I've tasted big koftas like this, and the lamb's not been cooked. So at least it's cooked. This is your rice. Um, so good luck. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. So if you can tell us what you've made for us. Starter is uh, basa fish fingers. Basa fish fingers, okay. And your main course? And uh, raisins, rice and masala chicken. So I think the, I think the rice was quite nicely cooked. It was, it was seasoned. I think everybody thought the, the masala could have done with cooking a little bit more. I think it was spiced a little bit raw. But I think good effort, really. So the next name on my list, Sheikh Abdul Ahmed. So if you can introduce what you made. and This is a local biryani, sir. Local. Local biryani, which... Mm. But you cook at home? You're an avid cook? No, yeah, so most, most Indian parents wouldn't want their sons cooking at home anywhere, though. Sir, sometimes, but I started now, when this competition started. Oh, for the competition you started? Yes, from that time I started cooking. But I think, good effort. Good effort. All the best. Thank Give you. us a smile before you leave. Okay, thanks. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Addison, what have you made? Starter, chicken tikka fry. Chicken? Tikka fry. Fry. Chicken tikka fry. Okay. Chicken masala or masala? Chicken masala. You could end up with something much more tasty. So good luck. All the best. So tell us what you made. Uh, fish biryani with raita and starter. Fish biryani with raita. Okay. So that's one dish. And um, prawns and cucumber juice. Yeah, so it's, so it's prawn inside there as well. Get yeah, it? prawn and squid. Um, and all the best. Just explain to us what's on this plate. It's that's biryani. Okay. And these are um, potato cheese balls. So the potato cheese ball was your starter, really, was it? So we're gonna suggest that this is your starter. So let everybody eat a little bit first before we discuss. Did you check the food, the seasoning, salt? No? You know what? It's a very basic food. Whenever you present something, you need to taste the food. Yeah, it's... Yeah, as chef is always telling you, you taste the food, taste the food. So good luck. All the best. <laughs> Hi, Komal, how are you? Fine. Fine, chef. What did you make? My starter is vegetable and paneer mutter kachori with meaty tomato chutney. Split it into two. So, in Bihar, sweet and savory, you'd eat as a main course normally? Something is sweet with savory? No, it's not like that. I think the filling of that's just too sweet somehow, really. Was, was it crispy when it came out of the, out the fryer? It was. Uh, okay, good luck. All the best. Thank you. Mujwala, how are you? You're still losing your hat, I see. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter now. Cooking is over. Okay, so what, what have you made for us? Paneer cutlets for starters, and a tawa paratha, and paneer garka tadka. Why do you put color in the food? 
uh, tomato was not uh, uh, too red. That's why I added curry. The paneer in the gravy has become a bit too claggy, I think. Again, I think it's nice not to use too many colors also in cooking. And for sure, there's hardly any seasoning in there. But good luck. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So a tough competition so far, I think. There was a lot of sweat going on, a lot of nerves. But now, hopefully, we're going to put some nerves to rest. Ten of you, unfortunately, at this point, are going to have to leave. Ten of you are going to go through into the final. So good luck to all of you. I think generally a good job done. I'm not going to talk any more about what could have been better or what could have been worse, but when I brief the top ten when we go into the final, I will give them a bit more of a brief about what went wrong and what they should think about from now on. So, the Bible. And in no particular order. Antonio Fernandez. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Shreya Karkar. Aniksha Borkar. Congratulations. Shreya Akla. Deepak Patel. Ujwala Pawaskar. Priya Singh. Addison Rodriguez. Okay, so the final two places. Hopefully, from the judges' comments, some of you probably won't be surprised, hopefully. Casta Pereira. And the final, let's say, winner of this heat, going into the final, Vedang Kamet. So unfortunately, 